Hi, sorry about the incredibly late start. Basically, uh, everything has fallen over this evening. Um, wouldn't be one of my streams if you weren't coming in incredibly hot, would it? Um, I'm Dan, and I'm here with my friend Robin. Say hi. Hi, it's me, I'm Robin. Hi, that's What's my up? friend Robin. Hi. Hi. Um, and I think, hopefully this time, I'm actually going to get through Dark Souls 2. We've been here before, I think. Um, we started trying to play Dark Souls 2 sometimes last year, and then Bloodborne came out, which is... I was kind of a more A very into. good video game. But Bloodborne was a really good video game. That mm -hmm. said, I'm really excited about Dark Souls 2 again. Yeah. I'm just at that point now in the... It could, are there enough Souls games to call them a cycle? I think it is, yeah. Oh, um, brilliant. Especially with uh, Dark Souls 3 coming out this year as well. It kind of is hitting that cycle, isn't it? Um, I should say... By the way, I am in the chat. Uh, my username is Egg Dude. I am also in the chat. My name is Dan. Nice to meet you. Hell Oits Dan. Hi. Um, it was a bit weird because I made, like I said, I made the conscious decision not to play Dark Souls 2 at the time. Because yeah. I don't know about you. I love the Souls games, but I find them kind of physically exhausting. <laughs> yeah, I can get behind that. I'm kind of the same way with strategy games in that, like, well, I played XCOM Enemy Unknown, and then I didn't touch a turn-based strategy for about two or three years. And then they made another one for you. It's really good. I actually haven't played that one yet. Um, I played Enemy Within it instead, because it was cheaper, and it still gave me the same kind of buzz. You can make robots in it. You can make your robots bright pink. Oh, okay, I'm sold. I should go back and play that one then. I know, right? Um, but, like, Dark Souls 2 doesn't look bad, does it? Like, I went for Bloodborne because no. everything was slightly sort of faster and with guns. Yeah, like, it's finally a Dark Souls game where you can get a gun, so that means it's... Like, that's what we were asking for since Demon's Souls. That's what we were asking for since Kimfield, you know? I mean, it's... You say a gun, but you you do kind of forget there's also a hat. There are both guns and hats. There's a hat that makes you look like a sort of crow. It's br Someone's using it, you can't take it off her. But it's cool. I think so, I've, I've watched this intro about five times now, so excuse me for trampling all over it slightly. It's all right. It's fine. It's a nice intro. I do... Because uh, the story of Dark Souls 1... This, this is where you're probably going to shout at me. The story of Dark Souls 1 was perhaps a little bit light in exactly what it threw in your face. So I really like that they sort of put their all behind a big intro for Dark Souls 2. Yeah. But even so, it does say sometimes you will appear in front of a big castle without really knowing why. Which is basically saying, if you don't really get the plot of the game, like it wasn't immediately obvious, maybe that was intentional. <laughs> you see that big loophole in the plot there? That, we <laughs> deliberately put get, that. It's a Dark Souls, Dark Souls plot. It's got traps Dark Souls in it. get out claws, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, look, it's that fella from Bloodborne, the moon. I can't believe the moon makes a cameo in this game. <laughs> they were developing it at the same time, they knew. <laughs> Continuity, Jar Jar Binks is a Sith Lord. Oh god, don't even. <laughs> Mostly because I'm not equipped to have a Star Wars conversation. It's that fella who's in the spaceship in the thing. The hairy he man. Says, the hairy man. He's called Chewy. You can't think of a funnier name than that. Like, there isn't a better name than Chewy. I'm sorry. He's he's brilliant. I just genuinely forgot his name. Uh, I I still not sure what this is about. I I've got pretty far in this game. I've seen it all the way through to the end. Not sure what this is about. I think it's kind of cool though. That's all you need. Yeah. It looks fantastic. Like this that, is some. That's actually like first time I was incredibly impressed with how good it looks. Because another thing I associate with Dark uh, Dark Souls games with is not looking too hot. <laughs> yeah. This is like the Blizzard FMV thing for World of Warcraft where they just put 8 million billion euros into making the uh, euros? Cinematic... I know, I was trying to think of the funniest currency. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, euros are fucking hilarious. Have you seen the funny uh, it, it didn't work. <laughs> uh, sorry, do carry on. No, that was it. Like, the, the intro looks really good. It does. But 
unlike a Blizzard game, I kind of want to play the rest of it. Hey oh. Hello. Hey -o. Hello. I remember enjoying Warcraft 3, at least the, at least the single player campaign. See, the good bit of Warcraft 3 in my own experience, so obviously that is meaningless to everyone else, was custom maps though. I oh yeah, those are. Oh, I fucking No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm failing out of this conversation. Do you mean Escape from Gay Heaven and Dragon Ball Z Adventure? I more meant like, although admittedly you say Dota, but the amount of different types of Dota there are for Warcraft is incredible. I've played at least yeah. three or four different kinds of Two Who Dota. Absolutely. Like I wasn't really exact. Like I was being a little facetious when I said like Escape from Gay Heaven, but it's actually quite good. So this is the bit where I sort of have to reveal the workings a little bit. There is a secret area nearby. Uh, uh, if you duck around the side. Shh, I, shh, I, I know, but I can't do it yet. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Shh. Pulling back the curtain. Don't, don't look. <laughs> Professional streamer stuff. <laughs> you want this to look organic, like you're discovering it for the first time. Um, I'm a bit behind in the stream as well because I'm watching the Twitch version. So if something happens, I'll probably react to it. I have to say react. I'll probably say something about it about 30 seconds later. It's all right, because we'll fix that. We'll drag you over here later. Uh, yes. Really? Okay. I mean, you say not, so. uh, not every week. I was just saying, you know. Um, You're going to kidnap me. I was going to invite you, but... <laughs> Um, what I was going to do for this part is actually record the start of the game um, and just play it in as a video because what we're about to hit is a character creator. Yeah. Um, not to, you know, give it away too soon. And I thought it would be nice to save everyone from having to watch me play in a character creator for about 45 minutes. Oh, this is, this is bad news. So, I'm playing the PC version of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin right now, but I'm using a controller. And this is an interface that doesn't work with a controller. So, <laughs> Robin, could you please do me a huge favour? Do you want me to fill? Could you be a darling and fill for time while I walk across the room to my keyboard? <laughs> um, I'll try and do my best to fill. Okay, so let me just find my notes. Shit. Where are my notes? Okay, so... Have you ever been on an aeroplane? Uh, <laughs> what's the food like? I mean, come on. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! It's not working! Daddy, they're booing! Um, peanuts. That's, um, that's the thing he gets on an aeroplane, isn't it? Uh, they any good? Probably. I, I can't... I can't open the thingy uh, with the peanuts because it's really hard and my hands get really sweaty when I'm on aeroplanes. I can't help it, I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you a lot for filling, darling. God, don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> you did a wonderful job. And hopefully when you watch that back, you'll notice me cheering at you from the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, this is the character creator part, and this is the character I've created. I call them Branchman. It's a little wooden person. So, here's our here's our naked boy. We can change it to be <laughs> other kinds of naked people if we want. Um, Big strong naked boy. Or, I. This is largely the same as the Dark Souls One character creator. So you sort of pull sliders around for a bit and jiggle around with a person's face and choose what kind of weapon you use. So, what we're going to do for this, because I'll be honest with you, we're throwing this character away. I'm going to hit random <laughs> and see what comes out. Yay! Goodbye, boy. Oh, the boy just got sickly. Oh, no. He, he, boy got a bit roasted, a bit sort of unwell. All of, we these look, all of these look really, oh, unwell. I know a secret, though. You can break this even worse. I think if we're going to do this, we've got to stop saying boy so much. Yeah, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> oh! 
Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing this in... I'm just going to do this a couple of times and... Yeah, this wasn't intentional. This has just sort of come out the same thing. Oh, oh no, the chat's in as well. It's just... Let's let's move on. Oh my oh. god, this boy! <laughs> there's no rescuing this. So we've made some kind of tomato face Oni man. Um, let's face man. let's choose him some clothes. Oh my god! So oh my god! So Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, that worked fantastically. That came out a perfect yeah. Oni. That was exactly what I was expecting. I don't know how that happened. So, as far as I'm aware, the Dark yes. Souls 2 classes are broadly the same as the Dark Souls 1 classes, right? Uh, pretty much. If you want to pick the naked person, you can be the naked person. If you want to be the person that starts with the magic, then you can be the person that starts with magic and then find a wand about 10 minutes into the game. If you want to be the person that hits things with a sword, well, gee boy howdy, have we got swords for you. Well, gee boy howdy, I think we do. So. For a bit Yowza. of context, I played the first Dark Souls as a sort of dex-based person who parried a lot. Um, that resulted in me dying an awful lot, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I believe there are records of that if you want to scour back through my Twitch, but you probably don't. I think I got a little bit upset at Analondo, but then so did everyone. Um, There's a secret to that bit. Oh, this is the really do oh, juicy don't secret. Don't you dare come and tell me this years on. <laughs> Next you'll tell me Ornstein and Smile will just stop if you ask nicely. It's just Pikachu and Snorlax. Um, so what I was thinking is I'd probably play the same class again. But looking through all these classes... Oh dear, that's a that's a bad look for the tomato. Was it the Explorer? Um, no, the Bandit. Um, ah. What I was thinking is probably I would usually go for the Swordsman. But based on outfit alone... I think I'm gonna go for the night. I think that also would be a good look. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The bandit is a really bad look for Tomato <laughs> Man. So let's choose a knight, and then as a gift, I'll be honest. I have a very little idea what all of these are, so I went for the petrified something because I knew I wanted something. Yeah, the and petrified something is probably the most useful out of all of these. Um, there is no uh, like scars and key in this one, so. The Bonfire Skeptic is useful if you want to min max and see the Tree yeah, of Giants. I believe the Bonfire Aesthetic is like a something you throw into the bonfire to make the game harder for yourself. Yeah, it also resets all the drops in that area. So. Oh god, I totally forgot. Yeah. It doesn't Dark Souls 2 have a grinding limit on monsters? Uh, yes, but it's not really like for grinding. Uh, like, it's more just. It depends on your point of view. I think it makes it easier because, like, you've really, the game knows that you can kill those monsters, so you need to fight them. Sorry, I'm just sat here thinking, it depends on your point of view is maybe the phrase I want to get into least when talking about Dark Souls games. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would cause people to start setting the chat on fire. It's that and the implications this has for the lore are stunning. Those are the two worst things to say about Dark oh, Souls. And I know you like the latter of those. So we're going to be exploring that a lot. Wait, are you playing as Tomato Boy? Stop getting ahead of yourself, darling. Ah. I've, didn't you read the script I sent you? You didn't send me a script. You just said, oh no, my microphone's fallen over. <laughs> Hence be, the late start. To be fair, I also told you I was eating some rice. Yeah. Oh, Tomato Man, you look lovely. So... Tomato Man's got quite the red face. That doesn't make any sense. I still enjoyed it. Nice outfit, though. Kind of goes with the whole... Oh, what? Tomato Man is brighter than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's rosy. Ooh. Is that the Amori that they're talking about when the moon hits your eye? <laughs> Good God. Hey, everyone. Oh, he, just, he just illuminates there. Like, that's incredible. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so... What we're going to be doing now is saying goodbye to our friend, the Tomato Boy. Oh, this is Dark Souls, apparently. Thank you, Steam. <laughs> <laughs> and while Tomato Boy just cools off, we're going to switch to my actual character that I made earlier. Nice. Once, uh, once we get past this loading screen, I couldn't stop it in time. Mm. Goodbye, Tomato Boy. It was lovely to meet you. And we'll never see him again.
This isn't like a speedrunning tactic where, like... <laughs> I wish it was a speedrunning could... tactic. I want to see people, Oh, no, like... Tomato Boy's gone mouldy. I want to see, like, at AGDQ next year, people making the Tomato Boy to start Dark Souls runs. <laughs> That's the What's name a... of the strat, making the Tomato Boy. Making the Tomato Boy. Um, there's a thing in uh, Bloodborne runs, isn't there, where you make a dub character and then just leave them in memory, isn't there? So it, this this is getting real in depth now. Is that because of item tube stuff, though? Yes. Yes, it is. That was a I good don't think guess. Was... Yeah. <laughs> Proud of myself. Well done, that Dan. Hey, Tomato Boy's looking. Tomato Boy's Moldy. looking. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time to meet me. Yay! I forgot that Tomato Boy would go a funny colour when he uh, when he cooled off. <laughs> I'll be honest, the analogy carries through perfectly. Oh, it's so disgusting. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet Hello. you. What? So, should we do the Hello. be right back thing so you can see the the Danny in the outfit and the Danny in the outfit? Oh, oh, okay. I can actually do that from here. So, as part of this. I'll be honest, I pre-planned this a little. Um, sort of kind of made a version of this. You can see if I press this button, fingers crossed, this layout I've made is working, but it should have just pulled in a picture we made. That was made by Sammy, who is a fr fr friend of the show. Friend of the show. <laughs> can, we get away with, can we get away with using that term? Yes. Okay, <laughs> friend, friend of the show, Sammy, who uh, is basically incredible. Um, and I love selling stuff at Birmingham Comic Con. Come buy some stuff from her. <laughs> I'm going to allow that plug to stand. <laughs> I'm completely in favour of that. Um, All right. And hopefully, uh, we're going to be updating that to reflect our progress through the game. So every time I get set on fire, for example, which is going to be a lot, and that kind of thing. <laughs> let's see how we go, though. Let's see how we go. Should we actually play the game? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. It's Dark Souls. Touch of fire. Put your hand directly into the fire. Yowza. Mamma mia. So first Dark Souls thing. I need to remember the controls. I think... Oh, can you not... Wait. Can you not smash through things by running into them in Dark Souls 2? Uh... Oh, no. Oh. Phil Wall just said, Sammy, draw tomato boy, please. Uh, I don't. think I... I might be able to swing that. We'll oh, find out. Oh, God. I can't believe the crowd's already against my actual character. <laughs> I mean, I completely understand. I love Tomato Boy, too. Hmm. Should we do the tutorial? It's probably for the best, isn't it? There are drops you can get. Pretty um, much every time a like streamer this. says, should we do the tutorial, people in unison scream, for fuck's sake! There are some interesting things to see in the tutorial. Um... Oh, well, you're, there you're an enemy. Thing, there's one thing hidden in things betwixt. Or quite a few things hidden in things betwixt. So yeah, do the tutorial. I found the sort of uselessly bonk person button. It's good, isn't it? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this um, This outfit you've pick, uh, picked means you don't start with a with shield. So I have rather noticed that, yes. <laughs> Hence the ineffectual bonking. Why are you bonking them? You've got a sword. Yeah. <laughs> about it. The proofreader, uh, living up to their name, uh, has just called me out on the mistake I've made. You can never roll through wheelbarrows. Oh, Robin. Oh. Sorry. I mean, I still trust you. Uh, I can hear some horrible noises coming from here, I'll be honest with you. It's a horrible place. Welcome I mean, to Dark Souls. Do you mean Dark Souls, Souls 2 in general, or just this area? It's just this area. There it are probably some gets like... easier after the uh, tutorial, right? You'd, th you'd hope so. Um... So secretly, I do have another thing I need to... Oh, oh okay. This game has backstab still. Cool. Um, yeah. I have to admit, I have actually played Dark Souls 2 a tiny, tiny bit. I've played about the first hour or so. Um, okay. Like I said, I tried to start it a few times before. Um but not really seen anything other than that. So I think most of the first hour last time was spent playing the tutorial area. So I've not really taken anything in. Did you see that coffin uh, back on the, on the beach section? The one with the big guy standing next to it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That coffin is where gender went to die. Oh, good. I'm glad it's dead. <laughs> we weren't using it. Equi oh, God, yes, weapon sets, of course. Oh, fantastic. Now I can just punch people completely. <laughs> you can equip a sword in your right hand and a dagger in your left hand, and it's actually more effective than it was in Dark Souls 1. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that why it gave me a dagger? Um, I think it gave you a dagger because some classes don't start with anything at all. Oh, dear. Uh, sorry. Like, I think the Deprived is fully nude. And one of the classes starts with a broken sword. So why do I have a dagger in my other hand now? It's cool. Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. There is a thing, actually, if you have two weapons of the same type, like uh, two long swords um, or two... I think axes or two um, daggers. Then if you hold, I think it's if you hold down the dual wield button, then you can do a power stance where you get new animations. Do you just get new animations or do other things happen? Because if it's just well, the, like, animations, the new animations, I'm are... still into it. Yeah, the animations are like part of that because like, you know how Dark Souls is all about a weapon having its own specific animations. And also when I said like sword weapon type, I didn't just mean like long sword or broadsword, I mean like great sword, curved long sword, etc. Oh, okay. So yeah, they have to be specifically... I mean, it's Dark Souls, I'd expect as much. Yeah. So there's some leniency in there. Um, and there's one weapon type in particular I'm thinking of that I wish was better because it's really, really cool. I'm sure we'll get to that point. Yeah. Yeah, Practical Potato ma uh, makes the point. Power Stance lets you attack with both weapons at the same time. Which is cool. Uh, so... I think I actually remember this. Don't you have to give them something? Like, uh, what, are these the ravens from Dark Souls 1 that gave you prizes yes, in exchange for you prizes? Do have to give, you do have to give them a something. <coughs> that wasn't subtle at all, Robin. <laughs> uh, leave, I guess? Uh... Well, I did it. What did you get? I... I, I don't I don't know. It just sort of made a shape on the floor. Can you pick up the shape? Or is this one where you need to um, log out? Oh, wait, close the game. And you need to log out. <laughs> I will never log off. So, have I done? Can you pick it up again? Oh, I was in a menu. Of course I was. Oh, owned. Oh. Whoops. I got Demon's Great Hammer. Thanks, Demon. Bang! That's pretty good. That's a pretty good ladder kicking animation. Yeah. Oh, do I... Ooh, can I remember how to descend ladders like a cool person? Yeah, I can. So that nest is where you get um, a lot of... Just, like, the weird rare items that I guess can not find to put anywhere else in the game. Uh, the chat's blowing up because you got the Demon's Great Hammer, so I guess it's a better thing than I remember it being. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'll, I'll start equipping it then. I thought the um, uh, Chandler's Trident was one of the best ones you could get from there as well, because uh, there isn't really a place to Oh, that's that. a large hammer! <laughs> that's oh, one dear. really great hammer. Oh dear, that's... F uh oh. I can hear someone getting all uppity. It's not me, is it? Well, it could be you. There's definitely someone stumbling around and it's starting to scare me. <laughs> it could just... Hmm. I'm not sure what. Oh, well, let's carry on with it. Yeah. God, that's a cool hammer. That is a cool hammer. What? Oh, you were... I, I thought you were a bad ghost. Well, it's a statue. Okay. I think, are there bad ghosts in this? I mean, there are bad ghosts everywhere, Robin. That's true. Just in general. Sometimes there are good ghosts. Oh. That's a... Oh, wait. I think that's one we have to come from... Oh, okay. So that's... Okay, so the, um, the bad ghosts, or the good ghosts was actually a Scholar of the First Sin thing. You need to come back there later. Oh, okay. Wait, does that mean I can dual wield a dagger with both hands? 
If you have two daggers, oh. then yeah. That's really no, weird. Uh, Why did you dual wielders in with both hands. Yes, I can. Oh yeah. 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 So if you hold this, Y, this is then my you, natural um... knife holding position. <laughs> yeah, if you tap it, then you um do you it do as it the, usual. Yeah. If you hold it, then. It's I the just read thing. the tutorial. That just it just told me that. I'm just explaining for people in the chat that don't like reading. I don't know why you'd be in a chat room if you don't like reading, but... Oh dear. Is it time for my first proper death? Oh... Okay. Wait, was this just for a prize? Jump yeah, I uh, actually, uh, speaking of things Bloodborne did right, Bloodborne changed the jumping controls uh, to pressing a button to jump rather than sort of mashing the stick in. You can, you can do... Oh, Yes, and that's in. what I've done. So now to jump, I press B instead of sort of hideously pressing the stick in. Did you see the ladder on the way back from the prize? Yeah, I, where I'm going now. Yes, okay. I'm going, I, can't, I can't tell because I'm half a minute behind. I thought you were going to say half asleep and same problem. I'm honest. half asleep. It's true, it's same. LS and RBLB guard break. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that means you can kick people. I could kick people anyway. You can always kick people. You can never not kick people. I... How did it want me to guard break? Uh... Uh, it's as, like it was in Dark Souls 1. I don't think I ever guard broke in Dark Souls 1. <laughs> really? I kicked all the time. I, I, I just parried people. Like with my fist. <gasps> I didn't... I guess I never knew that was a thing you could do. Like, kicking's really good fun. I mean, kicking is really good fun. Here's to you, kicking. It looks a bit different in Dark Souls 2. That's okay. <laughs> oh, I know about jumping attacks. I've played Bloodborne. We've been over this. <laughs> the one thing that's really scaring me is all of these smoky smoke doors. I'm so accustomed to smoky smoke doors meaning the worst possible thing. It's... They do use them a lot in the tutorial, but I don't think they use them again. Oh. Well. Here, here we are. <laughs> this is nice. Is that stone fella still? A stone fella's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll Weird. need to Metroidvania this one. Oh, you mean I've got to come back later halfway through the game? Yeah. Oh. I guess let's finish the tutorial then. <laughs> I by, guess so. By finish, I just mean leave. Uh, Stardust idiot says, Scholar puts petrified dudes in the tutorial. That's weird. Agreed, Stardust. I've heard there are a lot of weird things about Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, but broadly, I heard it was better, so I went with it anyway. What? What's... How are people in trouble at this big wall? Which big wall? Oh, that big wall. It's a... How did you die to a wall? Maybe they fell off of it. How did you die to a... Don't know. Ah, oh, well. That's Dark Soulsy. <laughs> there are a lot of messages... There are a lot of messages and bloodstains somehow, and I'm getting kind of weirded out by it. Maybe it's because... Yeah, I have no idea. I remember this part, though. This looks incredibly pretty. Oh, Medulla. Yeah, what I the hell? love Medulla. This is where the game gets easier. After the tutorial, like, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank God, because I was really struggling with that tutorial. <laughs> Although, to be fair, if I'd gone down to the beach, I probably would have died against the big man. He looked angry. I don't think you can go down to the beach with the big man because there was. Oh, is the that what was blocked off? Person. Yeah. Ah. For whatever reason. Well, let's go meet the friend who I remember. Hmm. I think this is my not quite walking, not quite running animation, this weird sort of saunter. I'm kind of into it. Is the friend not here yet? Oh no, there she is. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Ah. Are you the next monarch, or merely a pawn of fate? 
In Dark Souls 1, weren't you also trying to be the king of fire or something? I will remain by your side. Do you always uh, just want to be bonnet. the king? Um, I guess you want to succeed the king? No, like, hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to remember, like... So you were told to ring the two bells of awakening, but I didn't think they told you, like, the specific reason why you were doing that. I could be wrong on this one. If anybody wants to find an 18-minute lore video, <laughs> I, I won't watch it. That's a bloody lie. <laughs> Okay, uh, the line is, you will succeed, Gwen. My soul is beautiful. Seek those whose names are unutterable. Oh the yeah, Framped. The lizard friend with the horrible the weird horse snake. Yeah, horses. Once yeah. you have found <laughs> It is kind this of is weird. This is an anti-horse stream. I mean, I'm not going to take a stance on this, even though I am technically the one in charge. <laughs> it's kind of weird that... I mean, maybe again... So Dark Souls 1 spoilers at this point, but I assume everyone's pretty much on board with those now. It's a sequel. Like, this so, game pretty much picks up where the first game leaves off. Like That's about what, that's what I kind of want to say. The first game didn't really leave off anywhere. At the end no. of the first game, don't you sort of... Do if you either go on fire or you don't, and nothing happens? Oh, uh, yeah. Like um, when I said deaths. this film picks this picks off where the last game left off. Uh, the opposite of that, basically. Uh, it's not like a Back to the Future two situation where the last scene of the first game is the first scene of the second game. I was it's wondering just... in what way you meant Back to the Future two. No, uh, like because was it Back to the Future two? Also, at the end, had a next time on Back to the Future, but. It's a very large number. I don't remember. <laughs> it's okay. For the people at home, it did. <laughs> I mean, I love Back to the Future, but I'm I'm so lost with this analogy now. I'm so lost. Um, okay, so Dark Souls Two takes place millions of billions of years in the future after Dark Souls One. Really? Uh, it's a long time. It's not maybe not millions of billions of years, but it's implied. There are things that imply that this game takes place a long time after the first game, in the same place. So, my perception of the ending of Dark Souls 1, where basically nothing changes and you got punked, is kind of true then? Yeah, well, no, because... Um, like, was it you basically everyone trying to play you? Yes, you very much get played for a fool. Like, uh, you get played by a fool. No? You get played like a fool. By played like a not foodle. Only played like a damn fiddle by not only Kingseeker Frampt and Darkstalker Calf, but also by uh, Darkson Gwendolyn, uh, probably by... There's that lad in the gold armour. Uh, oh, he's awful, he is. Yeah, he plays the Was he? Was he Lutrec? Lutrec, yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm proud of myself for remembering a name. Yeah, well done. There's a key there, you can't get in. But there's a lock... There's a locked yeah. door there. You need yeah. to get... I'm, I'm very tired. You, you are doing a wonderful <laughs> job of guiding me. I mean, I did know the concept of locked doors, but I really appreciate you explaining them. It's okay. Uh... Stardust idiot makes a good point. Lautrec is the fucker. He is the fucker. I was genuinely... I felt so stupid when he roughed up the person who lived behind the gate. When well, you got played for a damn fool. I got played for a damn foodle. Yeah. Shop. Um, yeah, you get played a lot in the first game. I don't remember if you get played as much in this one. I think there's one person who plays you. Maybe two. There's, there are two people who plays you. Who plays you. God. I can't, I can't wait to find out who they are. I yeah. love to make friends. Oh, uh, you met the armor guy. He's really sad right now because his business is doing He does poorly. seem a little bit sad. He's on the floor. He's called Maudlin and he's Maudlin. I... I did consider saying that when I saw his name, but I thought better of it. <laughs> See, I have no standards. I'll just go for the low-hanging fruit. I don't have standards. I just, I'm just trying to pretend. <laughs> I'm trying to endear myself to people. It's been years since then, and I've made very little headway. Looks a little bit like he's wearing a loaf on his head. A little bit. It's not a very fashionable hat. Sorry. Everything's all run down and dying. 
Uh, yes. Um, what we were saying, yeah, about being played uh, for a damn fool. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether you pick the dark, uh, the dark ending or the fire ending in Dark Souls One, because ultimately, it all leads to Dark Souls Two. I like that the but, good ending is actually just called the fire ending. You go on fire. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you, if you keep doing the fire ending, then like maybe it implies that the cycle continues again. Somebody, somebody else might do the fire ending after that, but then it's still not as effective, and then eventually it's the dark ending. Which leads us on to Dark Souls 2, which is Hells of Dark. That was actually the working subtitle. Actually, I heard a thing about the working subtitle, actually. It's actually quite charming. They, just, wa they just wanted to call it Prepare to Die Again. <laughs> That's pretty good. They wouldn't actually let them, supposedly, because... You know, marketing and get cross, I guess. So I think in the end they and had then, to go for Go Beyond Death. Also, what would you call the third game? Like, prepare to die again, dot, 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 no, again. No, just, just, just prepare to die. Just keep calling them prepare to die. <laughs> What's the problem with that? Uh, I guess not. Yeah. Dark Souls 3. Oh, I thought 3. you meant like the actual sub subtitle was prepare to die again. No, no, it's just they, they just wanted to call it prepare to die. Have you found the cat yet? Have I found the cat yet? The I cat. found a physics! Oh, yeah. Hey Let's go. No, no. You're, you're coming with me, Barrel. <laughs> you... There isn't very much physics in this. It's upsetting. I know. Like, the, That's why the I'm making body. the most of it. They got rid of the dead body ragdolls. Best part. That's why, That's why Bloodborne's the better game. Uh, 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 it didn't go very well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, like, at that point, why not just call Dark Souls 3 as uh, you again? Just make it You're as still unfriendly. Here? <laughs> You're not dead yet. Oh, I could kneel in front of this giant, dangerous-looking gravestone. That's probably a good idea. Wait, that what? what is a? It's a it's a covenant. The covenants are a bit different in Dark Souls Two. Uh, this will make the game harder. I'll just walk away from that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with um, you. I... We're going to be dying anyway. I don't need to make it harder. Yeah, I think if you do a full run with this uh, thing, when you get a set of... I'm pretty sure this is right. You get a set of gloves that let you uppercut people. And may, I think you might be able to do a drag and drop kick as well. I mean, I'm really tempted by that. <laughs> um, don't do it for your first playthrough. Okay. I'm just going to... Putting my foot down. <laughs> Thank you, co-commentator. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me safe. What's down there? Eat your oh, dinner. That's a big hole. You have to jump down it. You have to fuck off. You have to fling yourself. I'm I'm not gonna do that. Uh Ali Lack. <gasps> cat! Cat! You found the cat! Yay! Undead, are we? Yeah, the Ali Lack uh, is right. You get a ring. Uh, some gloves. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Don't be mean, cat. Not exactly <laughs> chatting with a cat. <laughs> I don't think the cat likes me. Suit yourself. Oh yes. Cat's you alright. Enchanté. So, what did you want anyway? To hang out with a cat. Apparently they nerfed the ring and scholar, but as long as you still have the dropkick animation, I'm okay with it. Just what it's, it's kitty. Kitty. Kitty misrepresented their name. They're not just Shalqua, they're sweet Shalqua? Yeah. That's good. That's like ten times better. Yeah. They also think you smell nice. Wait, so Sweet Shalqua is in charge of covenants somehow. A little bit, yes. I sell you jewellery. This game's okay. Oh wow, these uh these jewelries all look really good. Yeah. Uh, one of them is really, really useful. But I'll let you figure that one out. <laughs> Prepare <laughs> to die, am I right? Hey -o. Hello. Lost uh PvP items. Yeah. Nothing suited you, I presume. No, I'm actually just very poor right now. Well, that's yeah. I'm sorry, I, I don't have any money. 
Yeah. I don't think it takes too long to get Ultra Souls in this. But I could be wrong on that. I mean, I have to keep them as well. That's the wrinkle. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this alleyway full of blood. Uh, you should keep going down it. But it's full of blood, Robin. I, you should keep going down it. <laughs> oh, prepare to die. <laughs> Wait, is that a monster? Oh, that doesn't look good. Is it? What Robin, is it? Robin, there I are small, like there are small things coming towards me. Really? I must have changed this since Gola. There were, there are, what are they? Oh no, they didn't change this bit in Scholar. Who are they? I, I, I'm not are sure. They I think pigs? they're pigs. I think they're pigs. Have you set pigs on me? I might have set pigs on you. Sorry. You... These things are these things are really weird. I'm not you... sure why they're in the game. Fucking monster! I don't want to hit. Again, I don't want to hurt the pig. This is another thing, but I don't understand about Dark Souls Two. Robin. <laughs> 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 are they, are they, I can't tell if they're actually going to try attacking me or not. They're sort of walking towards me. They they have a lot of health. Friend? I don't think they hit friend? too hard, but friend? they're not friend. Friend? God, this is weird. Why is everyone shouting, hurt the pig? <laughs> <laughs> Crush the pig. Hurt the pig? Oh... Oh my god! <laughs> Pigs are resilient, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know why they're so strong. I don't even have a shield or anything. Dexon makes a good point, they're here to frighten the ascetic users. If you use a thingy to make the bonfire a lot better, then you go around, find a little pig, and then it bites you for half your health. I mean, I'm scared of the pigs anyway. Yeah. I don't have enough stamina. <laughs> I, I did it. Did it. <laughs> I, I feel like a fucking monster. <laughs> I, I, You've already started to lose your humanity. Th this is your fault. You introduced me to the danger pigs who live behind the house. I forgot about the danger pigs, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's, I'm it's just going to not go there. I thought it was the bit with the Scottish lad. I was wrong. The bit with the Scottish lad? Robin, that could be anything in any of the Dark Souls game, including Bloodborne. <laughs> I think the there are more Scottish lads in Bloodborne than there are in this. The bit I find genuinely really charming about the Souls games is how it feels at this point like every single person in the United Kingdom has been asked to be an extra in them. Peter Serafinowicz is the main character in this one. Like, I... I mean, I don't know about you, but I think I'm one of the only people who hasn't been asked. <laughs> and I could do a good job. I've signed an NDA. You can't go down uh, You can go down this corridor, but I wouldn't yet. I want you to find the Scottish lad first. Uh, all right. How do I find a Scottish person? Like, it's They're not immediately obvious. You know, you can't see people's accents. Well, look for a fish and chip shop, and they shouldn't be too far. I refuse to go down this. <laughs> <laughs> Before we start talking about how I like to have things extremely large, because I live in Manchester. <laughs> Can I do a creepy laugh? I mean, you do need to do a creepy laugh if you are in a Dark Souls game, I suppose, but That's I can't, true. I can't, I don't know if I can do creepy. Mine's more sort of, I, can, I have two laughs, my normal one, which sounds like I'm just having too nice a time, or, do you know Disgaea? God. That's, that's my second kind of laugh, which is when I'm trying too hard. Here's a button. Um, oh, this is... contraption does not move. Oh, wait, I think this calls a lift. I mean, yeah, but I can't use it yet because contraption does not move. That's true. Oh, okay, you'll get a thing later on for this area. It, yeah, like, again. It's one of those classic Dark Souls shortcuts. It's Metrovania. Contraption does not move. Move. I'm really glad they haven't like rephrased any of the messages to make more grammatical sense. I really, yeah, I really um, like how things like it's locked or contraction does not move just follow you around. You defeated. You defeated. Left lever ahead. Okay. <laughs> you, you liar. Wait, you didn't liar. Oh, 
I take yeah. it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back and write that message because I was mean to it. Wait. Okay, so this isn't the area with the Scottish lads, but it does look pretty good. Oh, have I failed in my mission to find the Scottish lads? We'll find a Scottish lad before we have to stop streaming. <laughs> That's my promise to you. You say that every stream. I've got one joke that I've got prepared about Dark Souls 2, and it involves the Scottish lad. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you, want, do you actually want me to go back and find the Scottish lad? No, no, no. no keep going. Keep going. It doesn't, he's not oh. that hard to find from a jeweler. Oh. Well, I have some sort of door problem. Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. Ah, ah, jeez. Ah, oh, oh, boy. Ah. Oh, ah. Hachi -ma. Hachi uh, where's the... Spicy meatball. Did you actually know the, origi the uh, origin of that phrase, by the way? Because thanks to Tumblr, I only found that out last week. Yeah, uh, um, I... I did know that, but that's also because I saw it on Tumblr a few weeks ago. <laughs> it's real weird, right? For context, in case any of you don't uh, visit Tumblr.com, um, the, the origin memes. of the weird phrase, that's a spicy meatball... No, often... no, no, it's Mamma Mia, that's a spicy Sorry. meatball. Mamma Mia, that's a spicy meatball, often said in an accent. I'm not going to even protect... Whoa, that's a <laughs> lot of blood. Um, yep. is an advert for Alka-Seltzer where yep. a man kept trying to say that's a spicy meatball but couldn't because of Alka-Seltzer for some reason because uh, he was trying to record the advert <laughs> where he eats a spicy meatball sorry was that not a says, good explanation no it wasn't you missed out the key part he, he eats a spicy meatball and then he says mamma mia that's a spicy meatball and he ends up eating so many spicy meatballs that he gets heartburn and he has to have an Alka-Seltzer Jesus Oh my word! <laughs> uh, excuse me. Also, that's a beautiful idea. If you want to give hints in chat, do them in the style of messages. That's incredibly <laughs> charming. <laughs> but I do think I'll just encourage people to start shouting "skeleton." Skeleton ahead. Hello, ha skeleton. Hades Tower of Flame. Hades Tower of Flame. Hades Tower of. Oh, Hades. don't touch that guy's blood. Get your hands all in it. Yeah. Can I not talk to him now because I touch blood, or he's just—is he just not friendly? Blood toucher. Um, I can't remember. This is a good. This is a bit like um, the New Londo ruins in Dark Souls One, where you can run ahead, uh, maybe die because the enemies here are pretty tough. Uh, oh wow! I didn't know there was a guy there. Um, you can run ahead, may uh, maybe get a good item, and then maybe get killed, but it doesn't matter because you're so near the start and you've got so few um, souls. Well, in that case, I kind of don't want to go there. I don't want to cheesy stuff out of order, you know. That's fair I enough. Just, I just like, want to get an Dark idea Souls of where all the areas is. Uh, yes, areas that's are. fair enough. I want to show you this bit because also it looks pretty gorgeous. It's, it's fucking beautiful. Yeah. You know, after having seen just enough of Dark Souls 2 to get a general feel for it as well, Scholar of the First Sin is actually quite a nice upgrade. Yeah, I can, I can get behind that. And also, because uh, my computer exploded this last week, I got a new graphics card. Yay! So hopefully I should be able to be streaming quite well, uh, quite high quality as well. Mm. So it looks, looks okay to me. How's the chat feel? It'll be a bit blurry for everyone right now, but hey, the archives will look good. <laughs> oh, treasure! Treasure! Oh, this is a shield, I think. Good, I need one. It's a crimson palmer, which is actually just a kind of sandwich. Never mind. <laughs> That's terrible. I, have we met Robin? <laughs> That's a nice and also very small shield. It's petite. That nothing about me has ever been described as that, Robin. <laughs> it's petite and understated. Exactly. I'm sure you'll get along. Can I just throw this like a discus off a cliff then? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, this is my first playthrough. I'm just sort of bumbling through. Uh, Robin is super experienced with Dark Souls. I'm gonna, I'm really throwing you in it by saying super experienced, aren't I? I mean, I played Dark Souls two pretty comprehensively, but it was a few years ago. I'm, rem I'm like slowly remembering stuff as, I as I see it. But also, this is a few seconds after Danny's seeing it on account of the stream delay. Sorry. 
So That's okay. if I'm looking for Scotland, the only places I have left are uh, the dangerous pig zone or the house. There is another place as well. It's I think it's um, it's you go through a wooded area. There are some trees. It might be. I have to find a tree. It might be the big um, uh, bricky area. Oh, the big bricky area in this village. <laughs> no. Um, there's uh, one archway, oh, uh, which has arch got some crum crumbling bricks around it, and it doesn't lead you down to where you're supposed to be going. Are you absolutely sure that's not where I went before? It, I, I need to see it to make sure. The bit next to the Herald? Uh, no, there's a different bit. I'm so confused right now. Okay, so oh, go I to the Oh, I should probably house, touch this has... bonfire, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah. Dark Souls! Hey! Hey! Um, sorry, R really boring question. In this game, do you have to rest at a bonfire to activate it? You just need to touch it. Oh, brilliant. The path, you came from the tutorial okay, area. Right. Oh, from so before Medulla? Yeah, go back towards the tutorial area, but not... I have talked to the Emerald Herald, actually. We're best friends. Yes. Oh, wait, no. You haven't talked to the Emerald Herald enough, though. Oh, I have to do it more. Okay. Yeah. I thought we were best friends. Your companions. Your when? acquaintances. You need to build the friend meter some more. At what point on the friend meter do I just get to share her clothes? Because I'm kind of into the look. It's a good look. Um, I'm trying to think about that now. Of the curse. Seek souls. I look considerably less well designed than she does. Souls. Mostly in the face. Oh yeah, no, just so you know, um, you are... Uh, the direction saying go back towards the tutorial area. Uh, that was right. Thank you, chat, for saying it better than me. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. We'll go there in a sec, then. Yes, we will find Scotland, finally. Ah, oh, hello. Over the hill and, past and the over the hill and far away. Is the king's hey. Is the king. Uh, practical potato. Danny, you're playing on PC, aren't you? I am, yeah. Hey, That's that answer. I'm playing on the PC with a Xbox controller. Ooh. I used to have a DualShock 4, and let me tell you, never... Bloody get one of those if you want to play it on PC. It's a oh, really? full turbo nightmare. The dr they don't make drivers for them, so I had to download drivers that the community made, and maybe this is just my PC, but it never worked right. It constantly disconnected, all that sort of thing. Ooh, an archway full of trees. Ooh, nice. prize. Run down it. Uh, Dectalon says, did you smack any rocks into wells? No, but that's a good point. Every time you see a rock hanging on the ed edge of a well, Knock it in, and you might get a prize. What? Is this like a fun is this like a fun fair game you've set up? Yeah, exactly. Ooh, like you knock the stone into the into the hole, and you'll get a, a present. And you're absolutely sure this isn't like a trick to make more pigs angry at me? There are. I don't. Oh, where's the? There are person? more angry pigs oh. in this game, but not as many as in Bloodborne. And you finish Bloodborne. Bloodborne has a lot of angry and large pigs. This is very dark. Are you sure this is the way to Scotland? This is what it's like. This is what, just what it looks like in Scotland right now. I've been to Edinburgh before. It does have a lot of old architecture. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing about Scholar of the First Sin, actually. Thank you for reminding me, Cammy. This can run in 60 frames per second without breaking. Excellent. They added some yes. frames. It, it blew my mind when I found out that there's a bug in Dark Souls 1 if you run it at 60 frames per second where your jumps are shorter. Wait, really? Yes. Like, you need to put it back into 30 frames per second mode if you want to make some jumps because the platforming in that is stupid. That's kind of incredible. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Oh, that's a nice sword. All right, Cloud. Yeah. Yeah. That, that looks exactly He's like... He's an anime. That looks exactly He's an anime. like Cloud's sword for the end. I don't remember the name of it, but his ultimate weapon. It's not called Ultima Weapon, well, is it? Well, no, his Ultima. Hmm. God of his he is, Final Fantasy. He is very Scottish. Oh, oh. <clears throat> okay, I'll let him finish. Okay, let me know when he's done. Gross. <laughs> 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 Should I talk to him again, Robin, or are you ready to deploy your presumably fantastic journey? <clears throat> All right. Do you think his Esther's flask is filled with iron brew? Wait, this was Carry this, on. This was the iron brew joke you told me about. That was the iron brew joke. 
That was it. That was all I had prepared. Going to bed now. So I made that screen. You know how I made that screen we can pull down when there's been an emergency. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Robin. I loved your joke. <laughs> I'm glad somebody did. I've got a mouthful, by the way. I'm sorry. Still some leftover pizza. It's alright, I've had dinner, but thank you very much. Uh, I'm just gonna mute my mic for a second while I just eat two slices of pizza of, in about of ten seconds. No, please take your time. I I can fill. I know all about talking about airline peanuts. Airline or, food. Whatever you God. did. <laughs> <laughs> the odd classics. I'll just bumble Man. around this weird Oh, that's not good! <laughs> My first real enemy! These things are gross. So am I. You're gross in a different way. <laughs> I love you too! Oh dear! Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that was the parry button, not the block button. Oh, I got poisoned. I'm, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I got, I got overly concerned with being too fat. I did it. I prepared to die. I, I died to the first real enemy. Robin, this is because you weren't there to guide me because you're eating pizza. So now I'm presumably all nasty and hollowed and wrinkly because this is Dark Souls. That is also the other thing I quite liked about Bloodborne. I sort of hate the hollowing mechanic. Yeah. Part, like partially because I think reducing your max HP is kind of a junky punishment. I don't know if this yeah. game does it. I can't. It looks like it may yeah, have done a little does. bit. Um, but also, I care a lot about how I look in video games. And I really dislike being hollowed because it makes me feel awful. Yeah. Um, I there look might be nice. mods possibly for it, but there is absolutely a ring you can get for it. Oh, really? What, do you just look normal instead of getting hollowed? Yes. Ooh, cool. Um, as far as I'm aware, Cap, they did fix that durability bug. At least, I've been told. Ah, retrieval! Hey! Right. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Retrieval! That's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a word. That's a related word. Oh, you're right. We could technically mod that, but also what we could do is mod it so that it says funnier things. Egg bog. Ah. Jokes. What? That's J O K E apostrophe S. See, so if I if I play it like I'm paying attention, I can actually <laughs> I can kill the first enemy in the game. Fashion is so much more important than stats, isn't it? Though. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Lloyd. Oh, was that Lloyd? Oh, I didn't recognise him. Sorry, Lloyd. Oh shit. I loved Lloyd before he went all that weird giant poison stick. <laughs> Um. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that wasn't Lloyd. That cat was selling Lloyd's other stuff, though, which is a bit weird. If you're interested in our friend Lloyd, then why not follow them on Twitter? <laughs> I didn't actually mean that, Lloyd, but he is a sweetheart. Yeah. They, uh, I think they're still drawing Pokemon. I'm not actually sure, to be honest with you. Thank it you. would be it would be a good time to be doing it. <laughs> uh, have I... Pokemon oh, Star, yeah. Pokemon Moon. Whose idea was it to make the new game Pokemon S and M? Oh my god! <laughs> I hadn't even re. Oh. They really oh. blew it, didn't they? They really blew it. That's oh. Dear. Can I not get through this? A statue blocks my way. It's another friendly ghost. Except they're not a ghost. So can I not actually get through here yet then? No. You sent me so, all the way down to Scotland to... Oh. I wanted you to meet the Scottish person. <laughs> <laughs> like, this was really important to me. I had prepared one joke. <laughs> we 
we spent like ten minutes looking for this. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm sorry. So where am I actually going? All right, so you want to go down that first bit where I said, hey, don't go down here, turn around. But first, you should go and talk to the Emerald Herald some more. So, you mean I'd find the right path first off? Yes. I just thought I'd leave a moment of silence there while the somber music played to sort of punctuate what just happened. <laughs> Hey, Emerald Herald, it's me. Please ignore that I'm all lumpy now. Oh. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. <clears throat> Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. So maybe this is just me, is but... Every time I'm talking to an NPC in Souls, Souls games now, Souls. I've kind of been trained to move my hands as far away from the controller as I can, just in <laughs> case I accidentally press one of the triggers. Because... I have accidentally hit NPCs in these games before. Yeah. And it scares the hell out of me. Uh, before you go uh, to the first area, have a look at the bonfire and have a, and pop a squat. I think that's something people say. Pop a squat? Pop a squat. Alright, dudes, let's go pop a squat at the bonfire. <laughs> well, I'm radically doing it. Now what? To ha now what happens? Um, so there's a few new things in Dark Souls 2. Uh, mainly, like one of them. Does it say travel on there? It does. Yeah. Right. So you can fast travel between any bonfire you go to. Wow. Yeah. Dark Souls 2 is amazing. It's pretty good. I can't remember what else you can do at the bonfire. Could you? Uh, actually... Attune spells is the same. Burn means you just drops off into the bonfire. Item Cause, box. You get Because fire's stuff. fun. Fire's really fun. There's some important stuff that you need to throw into the bonfire. Um, which you'll probably find, and I'll explain as you go on. I think if you drop your human effigy into a bonfire, it means you get invaded less. Well, that's... I think. I mean, well, I was going to say, that's no fun, but actually that is quite fun. Yeah. I was terrified someone was just going to blunder on in, just <laughs> in the first thing, you know. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, did Dark Souls 1 have absolutely no fast travel at all? It did after you got the Lord Vessel oh, from... Oh, of course. Whenever. Illusion ahead? Is that an illusionary wall? I don't think so. Did I get tricked again? I don't think so. Oh, Practical Potato makes the point. If you drop a human effigy in it, it disables co-op. So it oh. basically like, stops all multiplayer. Well, I like... can't remember how long for. I, was gonna I think it's an hour of real time. That was my next question. Yeah. Um, because oh, yeah, like that might be an illusory wall. I don't know. I haven't played score of the first sin. I tried to hit it, and it didn't work. So, yeah, they might they might have th okay thirty minutes. Yeah, there might be um it, more illusory walls in here. That I just don't know about. But also, I yeah, this is totally the first area of the game. Yes. Oh, I was presuming you meant to go through that. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, can that kill you? Uh, what? The thing dropping on you? At all? Yeah. I the, don't know. Will that Dark Souls me? Please let me through. <laughs> that That's totally got to be able to kill you, right? Probably. Are you going to try it? No. <laughs> I, I did already die, but I... I don't want to die further. I'm not prepared. Oh, okay, apparently, in Dark Souls 2, uh, if you want to use an illusory wall, you press A on it instead of hitting it. Really? Yeah, so it's like in Doom. Do you go, uh, every time you do it? Um, no, but you, Danny, the person playing the game can. I have to do that every time I'm checking for an illusory wall. You don't have to. Although, actually... Shouldn't I only be making that noise when I jump? <laughs> yeah, that noise. That's a surprisingly accurate Quake 2 and 3 jump noise. <laughs> Look, I think about the Quake 2 and 3 jump noise a lot. Okay? You've been bloody practicing. <laughs> this is my moment. Actually, 
when you're searching for invisible walls, do you actually make a noise, or is that... What other um, weird, bad, not 3D, 3D engine game from the 90s was that? Um... You mean like the Wolfenstein 3D Doom style yeah. of scaling graphics? I say, ba of... I say bad as in the fake 3D. I, I love the look. Yeah. Please don't get me wrong. Yeah. Oh, was it... Hello, you're big. Hello. <laughs> it's a big boy. Was it... Um. Oh, it was... Oh, it was bloody up, awful Duke Nukem, wasn't it? You'd oh, yeah. You'd go... press the button and go, Ooh, ooh, where, where, where is it? <clears throat> where is it? I can't do it anymore. For a while, I Titus and I. Kick ass and chew bubble gum. <laughs> I may, I may kick ass and chew the bubble gum. Um, for a while, Titus and I got into the habit of making Duke Nukem voices that were basically indistinguishable from uh, Bob Dylan voices. Because <laughs> they are basically the same. Eh, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm going to rip shit on your chest. Those Wait. alien bastards screwed up my ride. <laughs> And now I can't. The bastards are gonna play paper, knocking up my bride. <laughs> the, like now in my mind, I can't separate the two. It's it's always Bob Dylan and Duke Nukem, which to be <laughs> honest, I don't think about Duke Nukem much outside of the context of that anyway. Hey. Yeah. Cheeky. Because yeah, Duke think... Nukem is wretched, and Duke Nukem Forever was the most embarrassing shit shows in the world. <laughs> That's the best way to put it is an embarrassing and unnecessary shit show. God, it was unnecessary, wasn't it? Speaking of unnecessary and related to Duke Nukem, Bombshell, out now on Steam. hey -o. Hello. Have you seen that lady's pistol? No. Fuck. It's incredible. Like the... is, it, is it actually a good game? No, I'm just, just oh, having, okay. Have you seen that picture of her holding the revolver? No. With, like... Are you... It's a revolver with 24 chambers and three barrels. That, is that oh oh dear is that a lot i don't know anything uh, about gun to... okay so did you pay me to get solid yeah okay okay you know I, how i do know it's meant to have six, six shots yeah yes okay I'll so post a picture of it in chat is six more than 24 six is less than 24. Oh, but okay. anger the big boy i don't know i don't know what i'm doing he was in the way why'd you anger the big boy he was in the way I only realised when I hit him on the head it did like 17 damage. What a mistake I'd made. He's a big boy. He's a very big boy. Look at the size of this boy. I don't, don't oh. know why it's called the first simple one big boy. So. I mean, it seems a little mean to put a big boy in the first area if he's this dangerous. I'm going to chug a gem. You can't chug a gem. It really ruins it. You smash it into your forehead. Hey, come here, big boy. Oh, that sounds different. That's not. <laughs> uh, let... <laughs> big strong boy. Oh, who's my big strong sleepy boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Whoa! Cool it, big boy. <laughs> I I won. I won. How do I? Won. Destroyed the big boy. Didn't he give me anything? What a disappointing big boy. Yeah. How do I switch in items? Ah. Like that. Yeah. I I forgot I probably should uh, be using Estus before life gems, right? Um, Use them as you see fit. You've only got one Estus flask at the moment, haven't you? Yeah, but Estus is infinitely refillable. Estus is... Yeah, I guess to, uh, that is the case, use Estus first. But also, I th I think uh, 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 life gems are faster to use. Oh, can you be interrupted having a little drink now? Yeah. Uh, practical potato oh. makes the point. <laughs> you don't have to kill everything, but I, also... I didn't... I was just walking up to him, and I guess I got in his aggro range or whatever. Yeah. I just wanted to see what his model was about. You did one. I didn't... Yeah, I can see why Hitomi, that guy being there, would would make you think this was the Kaizo version. Because I remember yeah. this area. He won't. He wasn't in the base game. Oh. It was Ooh. just these and, fellas. And that night that was popping a squat Ooh. in the bit with all the towers. He wasn't there either in regular version. Oh wait, was he a baddie? Oh dear. Uh, 
think he's just really tired. I mean, I understand. Tell me a little, little nap. I'm very tired as well. There was a bonfire in this area. I'll go find it. How's the volume of the game, by the way, now that we're in an incredibly loud area? Um, I will let the chat decide because I'm not listening to the stream because I don't want to hear two <laughs> conversations happening at the same time. Oh, dear me. I'll start replying to myself from half an hour ago, telling myself to shut up. But to be fair, someone will then like the Iron Brew joke. <laughs> oh, that was... I'm sorry, that was mean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, volume is fine. Cool, thank you. Uh, yes, you can walk while using life gem. You can't walk while using it. Uh, I thought uh, that was the case. That is quite a downside. You also get loads of life gems, so don't worry about it. See, that... My first thought about making health items uh, uh, consumable in Dark Souls is, well, guess I better save them then. Because um, coming over from Bloodborne, they did something very similar, where yeah. they had the Blood Vial system, which if you don't know, but do know Dark Souls 2 somehow, um, Blood Vials are essentially just limited like single-use potions you carry around, and you can have up to 20 of them at once, and you have to get them off enemies. And when you die, it doesn't automatically refill or anything. It's basically entirely life gems. It well, automatically refills as long as you have them in your store. Oh yeah, like so long as you have some, it will refill. But it doesn't give you any for free. Um, it's a good system as long as you're not fighting a boss. In which case, yeah. It's a really so long bad as you aren't system. repeatedly dying, it's a good system. But then there are foibles around it. For example, if you end up staying in an area for too long, the enemies in that area will stop dropping uh, blood vials. Which is oh, really? some real shit. <laughs> some hot bullshit. Before you but, go up the ladder, you should find the bonfire in this area. I've already done it. You've already done it? I'm really behind in the stream then, in that case. It's alright, I just, I just wandered over because I felt I was getting away from it. What's all? Uh, I felt I was getting away from it. Yeah, life gem seems to be more like it gives you some pretty strong regen, whereas Esther, yes. uh, uh, Estus is just, you know, having a swig. Absolutely. Um, I, I quite like the health system in Dark Souls 2. What happened to that tree? I mean, I'm not against, uh, like, consumable items. It's just I'm kind of scared of them. Yeah, um, like, it's the mindset that everybody gets into when they play games with consumable items. Like, you don't want to use it because, you know, you're going to, you're going to need it and it'll be more important later on, so you just don't touch it, but... It's also the thing of, to be honest, I don't really rate myself at these games, so I expect the worst. <laughs> well, you finished the first one, and you finished Bloodborne, so... Well, yeah, but not, good enough. not a large degree of fighting. There were certainly some bosses in Bloodborne that had me feeling very poor, although I still stand was by Was it the, the orphan? Which one was the orphan? <laughs> in the DLC. Oh, yeah, I, d I didn't do that one. I got to that one and stopped. <laughs> Maria was a really cool boss fight, though. Anyway, um, that one is recent, so I maybe don't want to talk about spoilers about that one. Um, but, like, uh, in the base game, I had some trouble with Rom, but I think that's more because one of his attacks was kind of garbage. But of course, Rom that's what you said. Oh, really? Yeah. I wasn't paying enough attention to the story. I do apologise. <laughs> um... But, like, in Dark Souls 1, I can't think of anything that gave me a huge amount of trouble other than on Steven Smell. Smell? Smell? Yeah. Um, which is the one that pretty much everyone had trouble with, I gather. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, like, I had fun suffering against them, at least. So, that's the thing. I can have a little bit of fun suffering against a really hard thing. I can take it. It's the kind of like appeal of bullet uh, hell, isn't it? Um, yeah. It's a hard wall that you run up against, but then you actually like overcome it, and it's cool at the end. Which is why everybody should try playing the run in Undertale where you kill everybody. Fuck off! <laughs> to get that propaganda out of my stream. The boss fights are good. That's all I can really yeah, say about but it. it it's harrowing. I don't want to yeah. be harrowed. I like the characters in that, Robin. I don't want to beat them up. Don't yeah, bully. Yeah, I was talking about this um, today with somebody else. Like, Ooh. I remember like, even after I beat the game, um, <laughs> I went back to Excuse it. Excuse you? Sorry, was I in the way? <laughs> You'll see. Yeah, you, 
Even after I beat Undertale, I was thinking, oh, I want to do those boss fights again. Maybe I probably, I probably shouldn't kill all my friends though. I'm just gonna play a different game. Yeah, like that's the thing. I, I felt, even though the games when I want to play them, I didn't find myself needing the extra content there, because I, I got what I felt like I got out of that game what I wanted to get out of that game. Yeah. Without having to go back and be a rat bugger. Oh, um, I think playing the kill all literally everyone run is good. Uh, I actually think it's like it was is what elevates um, self from being not just a very very good game to being one of the best games I've played. But isn't it designed to be grim and horrible to actually do? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know what any of these numbers are telling me, I'll be honest. Uh, which numbers? That 120 is going down to 100, so that's probably bad. Yes. But you might like the animations more. Uh, the animations on this are fine. Yeah. Um, I found the Bastard Sword relatively early in this game and then didn't use anything else. Sorry, please don't swear. I found the Hex Sword early on in this. Uh, it's called the Rotter Sword. The Beasting Sword. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family friendly demon fighting stream. Hello, uh, it's the guy who fell down. Hey! Uh, yeah, um, I found the Bad Boys Sword <laughs> early on. <laughs> the uh, bad, boy, the bad Boys 2 Sword, actually. Yeah, I didn't need to use anything else. Uh, same with Dark Souls 1, I found the Claymore and then just this... tried other weapons and went, well, I just don't like the animations as much. Is this... I have a bad feeling about this prize, I don't know why. What did you get? I picked up a prize from a guy who was just asleep when I... Oh, it made a man wake up. No. Oh, Dark Souls. You got souls again. There used to be a man sitting down here being sad. I I can understand the feelings. <laughs> but they moved him, they got rid of him. Which is a oh, shame, I like that man. Where have the sad boys gone? Uh the bit with all the towers and the water. Oh so was that not actually an ocean, that was just tears. <laughs> I, guess, I guess so. Oh, I'm very but worried the, about the these bit doors. With the fog gate here looks like goatsy. Back up and look at it. No. <laughs> if you're watching, if you're watching the vod, back no. the video up and look at the fog door. It looks like goats. Ah! <laughs> I got taken by surprise. <laughs> oh, Robin! I can't believe you're in league with them. <laughs> I'm working against you. I'm working with the game. <laughs> I can't believe From Software literally paid you to say what you just said. <laughs> I bloody wish. <laughs> I bloody wish I could just join people's streams and talk about shock sites. Oh, ah! Sorry, hey, most of my... Hey, you're going something awful. I'll say it is. Hey, oh. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Oh, oh, dear. This ain't going well, is it? In terms of build, I really don't know. I Like I said before, I went with Knight just because I really like the outfit. Oh, that's not a good look with the wrinkly face, is it? Fashionable um, character. But, like, I kind of want to play it the way I play all the video games, which is probably like a sprightly sort of dodge build. <gasps> physics! Oh, hey. physics! Physics is back! Don't call it a comeback. Hello, I see you. Um, they hide a lot more stuff behind uh, props in this, so basically smash everything up that you can. Unless Way it's ahead of you. <laughs> 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 okay, that guy's just friendly. He's supposed to hang out. Oh, is he? Well, no, he just couldn't figure out how to hit me. It turns out. <laughs> it was a nice oh time God. when I thought he was a friend. Friendly guy, that's incredible. Yeah, he just sort of wandered up, was hanging out. I think that other guy was a bad influence on him. He was just gonna hang out till the other one wandered down. I'm 
even if the corpse is maybe gone, I am kind of enjoying the very minimal amount of physics you can exert on things. Yeah. It's you you can't push things, you just sort of bobble them. Mm. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, Dark Souls. <laughs> I got a little... Dexter hmm? says most shields are bad in this game, and two-handing and power silencing is quite good. I personally found the opposite, um, but then again, maybe I just found a good shield. Uh... And power silencing, I didn't use very much because I kept getting hit a lot. I wish the I wish the twin blade was good. Should I? That's be, all I'm going to say. Should I be power silencing with this tiny pathetic sword? You can't power silence because you don't have um, another pathetic. You might be able to power silence. Oh, sorry, power, power stance isn't isn't uh, dual handing. No, 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 that would be dual handing. Oh, yeah, because of the words. Yeah. <laughs> power silencing <laughs> is um, when you have two things and you go ah and run at somebody. Scream. So, power stancing is when you scream. Yeah. I see. It helps you scream. I mean, I've heard that about YouTube, at least. It helps if you scream. you got to get those numbers, okay? I don't think I'll ever get numbers, Robin, and I think I'm quite happy with that. I'm happy with just hanging out. Oh, my broadsword's at risk. Um, I'm happy just hanging out with my lovely friends, talking about garbage. Yeah. I'm okay with that. We're all friends here. Yeah. All garbage here. <laughs> not ev I'm not going to go ahead and say everyone's trash because I know some people don't like it but I'm definitely trash I'm lovely sparkling trash and everyone else is invited to be as well Same. is that guy going to shoot me while I'm on the ladder no he can't see okay hmm this is very familiar I don't know why is there a shop in here? Yeah. Is there a guy right behind me? Yes. Fucking Dark Souls. I fell for it. Hook line. Whoa, wow. Hook line instinct. Hook line and oh no, there's a sword in my tummy. I'm just going to cheat by hiding behind this wall. Since I know enemies don't understand walls. Sorry, I'm still getting to grips with like how attacks chain together. So I yeah. sort of randomly am swiping in directions for a bit. <laughs> I do apologize. Like it's one of those things where you just need to figure out the animations of the weapon before you can be comfortable with it. So how do you actually parry in this game? Do you have to use the knockback thing, or can you actually just do it with a, with the shield? Wait, wait, what's it? What is it with the shield? Hmm. Like hit hit the knock block. Hit not block. Hit not block. Yeah, like, it not. can you actually parry with that again, or...? Probably. Um, yeah, that's fire parry. required ahead. Well, let's get some fire. Ooh. Uh, yeah, preferably don't tell me any big spoilers or anything. This is, this is my first run, so I'd rather have things surprise me and have me die like a chump. I was going to say the Dark Souls was, was inside us all along, but then that's actually the, a spoiler for the first game, so I won't say that. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh, hi, Barry. The real Dark Souls were the friends you made along the way. Oh, wait, that's also a spoiler. Shit! You just can't help yourself. Can't help myself. Well, they seem friendly. Ah, uh, good um, old merchant hag. The proofreader, uh, I hadn't forgotten parrying, I just had forgotten the exact animation for the Crimson Palmer. I thought maybe it was a bash. Because bashing somebody with that tiny uh, shield would be funny. Can you compare? No, still no. Oh, your joke. Bloodborne had that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, Bloodborne's race, like still fresh in my mind so a lot of it's it will be the bar a lot yeah it's not this raised the bar it's that it's like you can tell both of them were developed from the same base and they both kind of diverged a little yeah you Ooh. should have a sit down i'm not sleep oh it doesn't it's the, the, sleep. the key of the fella who lived in the town yeah that's the end description for it, actually like what's, what's that minecraft block Faris's lockstone. I I like these. I think they're a good addition. What's what's that? 
It's a key. All right, can't afford it. It's shaped like a Lego block. It's a my. The kids don't know what Lego is, Robin. It's a Minecraft. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, Yuck. witching urn. I need to do that. I need to witch things. Five witching urns. Don't. Don't quiz have a witcher. I wasn't. <laughs> well, w apparently witching is a verb, so. Really? Is, is that as in to witch, or is that to... to... Well, I mean, you've got a witching urn. Well, yeah, but things in Dark Souls don't necessarily have to exist, do they? Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. What about I've never keys? seen a tiny dangerous pig. <laughs> You've been going to the wrong petting zoos then, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, just the enormity of everything hit me. <laughs> How do you... Fix your sword. Pop a squat. I I have popped a squat. Where's the option on menu? There should be a red bar. If if you unpop a squat, there should be a red bar underneath your sword that will have filled up now. Wait, really? So, yeah. Weapons just repair themselves automatically at bonfires now. Yep, but apparently they degrade faster in this than in Dark Souls One. I never really noticed it. That's uh, very strange. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I ever, more than like twice, got the big, uh, big red text in Dark Souls 1. So maybe that was a way of making the big red text matter in Dark Souls 2. I just remember there's also um, stuff that you'll find later on that contributes to it. Or is there? I'm not very good at this. Thank you for not spoiling that on a technicality. I'm not going to say what it is. Oh, it's locked. Is it, a no, small, okay. is it a small bonfire you keep in your pocket? Okay, so the door isn't locked. Yeah, well, it, is. it is locked, but yeah, it's just it. shitty. This door's rubbish. So am I. What would well, you do that, to a shitty that, door? Console it and tell it it's doing a very good job. No. No. I hate this door. The door hates you. You hate a lot of things. I especially hate this bloody door. <laughs> Are you giving me a pep talk to fuck up the door? Yeah, fuck up the door. Do I have to fuck up the door? Fuck up the door! Okay, I'm just following orders. <laughs> oh, I hit I hit my arm on the wall. <laughs> oh, you just fucked up your elbow instead. I can't even fuck up the door. Uh, are you sh this door is maybe stronger than my arm. Fuck up the door. The other I, day, I did it. Uh, I you know up how. The door. Oh, that was fucking up the door. You know how English people will apologise to something if they bump into it, even if it's an animal object, like a door or I mean, a wall? I mean, you say that, but I don't... Why is it so dark in here? I haven't just, like, done that when I've bumped into things. I've... At my lowest moment, I've said thank you to cash machines. <laughs> just just Any... sleepily not understanding. Uh, yesterday, I was at work, and I was so, like, tired slash stressed slash pissed off. I had knocked over a thing of milk and told it to fuck off. <laughs> oh no, the milk! <laughs> Robin! <laughs> well, I was furious. Um, how, how do I equip torch? I think you need to go to the bonfire. Ha I can equip hat! Yeah! That looks bloody terrible. <laughs> I'll just hide Bash my yourself. face. Hide your weird, rotten face. I'm very sensitive about my weird, rotten face, Robin. Please don't be mean. So okay. I'm at a bonfire now. How do you make a torch? Press Y. Press Y? Oh. What? You're welcome. Oh. Weird. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. And then you hold it above your head like you're fucking partying? Yep. It's running through the streets of... Where's this game set? Was that Drangalic or something? Drang Lake. Drang Lake, sorry. I That's right. mispronounced it, but probably... Because it's... Oh! Sparkly! Yay! Sparkly Lizard! Is that exactly like the Crystal Lizards from the first one? Yep. All right, I kind of hate them. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 
these shadows look quite nice. Yeah, they changed the lighting engine in this one to make it look more like it looked pre-release. I guess because like, all the pre-release stuff made it look really cool. Uh, oh, and, like, I totally you had to forgot. Use the torch, and then it was only really in like two areas that you had to use the torch, so they decided to make the game tougher. Um, I actually kind of like this change, but again, like I said, I haven't played the game myself, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's bad. I mean, it's the lighting is super dramatic. I don't know if that's necessarily better, but I yeah, can't, I can't stop thinking about it. just just people screaming and waving torches around like in a party way. <laughs> <laughs> Who brings fire to a nightclub? That seems. It seems kind of... They didn't have glow sticks in medieval times, Robin. Ah! You're mean. <laughs> Bloody Dark Souls people have no manners. I do apologise. I should, if I'm gonna be, make surprise noises, I really should probably p process my mic a bit better. Gate it. Uh, yeah, I do apologise. <laughs> uh, can I jump over there? Ooh. Ooh. Apparently. According to the proofreader, again, fact checker extraordinaire of this stream, <laughs> and bullshit call out of this stream, <laughs> um, the PS3 and 360 weren't good enough to have the lighting system like that. Um, I'll buy that. I, it's weird because I did play some pre release versions that had that lighting system in, and then they just changed it again. Weird. Yeah. Oh, hello, you. Oh, yeah, I killed you, and then you came back to life, didn't you? Oh, just so you know, there is a timer on your torch as well. So I you just saw be, it, that's why I put it away. <laughs> you can't be a 24-hour party person, unfortunately. So, you can only be a three-minute party person. How do you restore your five minutes of party? You need uh, you find more uh, torches in chests and things. This is a very strange system. Yeah. I like that guy's little leg that he's got up there. What's Lego? Uh, the guy I just killed has got his... Uh, Leg bent and a little funny. Oh, play. I thought you said Lego again. Sorry. Legos. Oh, I, I, I've been through media training now. I know to say Minecraft blocks instead because that's what <laughs> gets us the hot SEO. Are you really calling talking to me going through media training? Because your media career is in tatters. <laughs> um, I look the the proofreader. You don't know how you feel about your role. You chose that username. <laughs> You said I'm going to be the proofreader. I'm going to call out all the bullshit. There's, That's what I'm implying. There's a lot of blood here. Yeah. Oh, and there's so much blood in Dark Souls. There's a lot of blood in Dark Souls. That's because you can fall off and die here. I don't want to fall off and die. Well, well don't. Fine, then. Don't ring out oh, yourself. Oh, I, I, I fell off and died, probably. <sighs> Classic Danny. I'm getting roughed up. That's a good Cities of Heroes name. The proofreader. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want them to turn up if, if there was an emergency, to be honest. You just think they'd be more on the City of Villains? Asking villains if they can just double check their plans. <laughs> don't end a sentence in the preposition! And then you kick him in the neck, I assume. Sorry, I would definitely respond to that, but I'm concentrating really hard on making a jump. <laughs> I don't have the capacity for both, I'm afraid. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. There's some cool stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, right. sorry, I fell off a thing because I was too over uh, enthusiastic. It's okay, you turned into Hank Hill for a moment. No, I was just scared. <laughs> Like, That's so, maybe the thing I want to turn into least. It's either Hank Hill or Alan Partridge. Th those are the Neither! Two. Well, I, I turn into Alan Partridge when I get flustered, as it turns out. When, when I get flustered, I just turn into an unpleasant person, I think. <laughs> oh, Ow. no. Hank Hill's lovely. There's a lot of lads down here. Yeah, this is where all the lads are hanging out, apparently. We finally found them. The lads. Is this weather spoons? <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> That's uh, some classic British stuff for no one to appreciate. <laughs> Even British people to go. Uh, just to go, oh, for God's sake, did they really say that? Really? 
So I can't help but notice down here, as well as all of the lads, there's some danger. There's some danger, folks. Because there's some fire right over there in distance. Mm-hmm. 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 There's lots of fire in Dark Souls 2. Possibly more than in Dark Souls 1. But these look faintly like people shapes. Yes. Those aren't actually uh, statues, because with statues they're so Ooh. hard that if you hit them with the sword, then they then you just bounce off. Is that man a turtle? That man might be a turtle. I think that man is a turtle. It's weird that there's a turtle man here, but okay. I don't want to go and fight the turtle man. You do not have to fight the turtle man. There's more fire in here. There's more fire in there, but you should... I'm pretty sure you should go down the bit with more fire. This is just... I don't... Which is... Which I'm pretty safe? sure you should go down the bit with more f with. Okay. The There's a Vulcan! What are you doing, Robin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a... helping. That's a giant mouth full of fire. Well, don't rub your face on it. Um, I think the turtle man is angry at me now. <laughs> oh, jeez, this is a bad place to be then, in that case. Uh, is the turtle man really strong? It's not really <laughs> strong. Like, you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the turtle just fucked up one of the statues for no reason. <laughs> this is angry. Um, I mean, you managed to kill the big boy, so I think the turtle should be fine. I don't agree. Is that a turtle, or is that just a man in heavy clothes? Um, we're going to call him a turtle from now on. Can you backstab by getting round people in this game? Uh, yes. It's still Dark Souls. The animation's a little different. So. It doesn't just go straight into it, you hit them first. What's it like you have to stagger someone down or a little bit, yeah. Oh lord. They swipe wide. They uh mm. actually I was gonna say they play, they play a bit like um Havel the Rock Johnson. I I do not remember Havel the Rock Johnson at all. He, <laughs> is, he lived at the bottom of the tower. He had the big tooth. That I, I remember where he lives, and I remember his big clothes that everybody wore, other yeah. than me. It wasn't I, very beat, I beat the turtle. You beat the turtle. He's he's a toughie, but he's not that bad. Uh, yeah, you should go towards a bit with a big fiery mouth. Uh, is that a real turtle? Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he just he just fucking fell down on me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was one of the statues. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, that's incredible. I, I got ruined. Fucked up by a turtle. <laughs> I got really fucked up by a turtle. <laughs> See, I love Dark Souls and I hate Dark Souls. Pretty good. I, I, I love getting punked like that, but I yeah. should have reacted better to that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, they are a little bit like Havel, but they do wide attacks instead of just... Uh, I can totally get this. Oh! They attack real wide! Yeah. Maybe I'll be better going out than back in. I think so. Actually. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's just like finding the timing on the. Oh no. Timer. I got him though. It worked out. Hey! I got the sleepy turtle. Bucket Junior. Yeah, it's. The, I think it's just that I've got to. Um, Learn, learn, learn like, up. yeah, exactly. I'm rolling at the wrong times. Yeah. It's, it's always a mix of like, if you try and if you try and dodge stuff specifically rather than like be heavy tanking things and stuff, you've got to learn like where in their attacks you move to as well as when to move. That, that, that was weird. maybe more Bloodborne, but it was really important to like to move to the right side of people. There's a boss fight later on that if you know how iframes work, is super easy. And if you can't get it, then it's unnecessarily difficult. I got I got a bit of turtle, but it looks like this is going to make me impossibly heavy. <laughs> oh dear me. I got a big turtle body and tiny little legs. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, my legs aren't that tiny, but comparatively speaking. 
It might just be because you've got your knees cocked as well. Are you saying my knees are all cocked up? I'm saying that you you don't have your knees at full extent. Okay, yeah, it looks funny. It looks funny. We're not updating the official fashion souls just yet. If that was... I wouldn't let that go through. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Uh, not fashionable enough. Hmm. All right, so go down those um, two caves. Yeah. The one I... with the big, big fairy mouth has a really good. Fine item. work. Thanks. I'm very proud of my me as well. Ooh, a shield. That guy was just hiding a shield. <laughs> uh... It's probably better than the crimson palmer. You really don't like my sandwich shield, do you? <laughs> it's not a very good shield. Neither is this shield, apparently. Yeah. It's all red numbers. Really? Yeah. Oh, yikes. Yikes and yowza. Don't bother. So, is it actually safe to go down the path with the mouth in? Yes. I'm going to run down it just in case. You should. Where am I going? Well, oh, there's a, door, there's, a door, there's a door. There's a door. There's a door. Ah! No! What? How did I... I got hit by a fireball while I was opening the door. Is the door open though? Yeah. No, it, it literally hit me in the door opening animation and it... Didn't do any damage? No. There you go. Perfectly safe. I've got to get back out yet. Yeah, there's the door in a way. Ooh. Wow. So this sword's really good. I mean, it sounds it. It's made of fire. Mm-hmm. So I was going to say that's a big down in numbers, but also it's got twice as much fire on it. It's got the fire bit, yeah. Oh, unable to use this. Oh. Really? Yeah, I don't have the attributes for it. I need... Oh, it's just agility. Uh... Oh. oh, dear. How do oh, you dear. find out what you need for it? Uh, it? You need nine agility. Where does it say? Um, it says, oh, bottom uh, left corner. Okay, sorry, yes, yeah. sorry. Uh, I think I have eight, which sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Like, you can go back to Medulla anytime you want. Yeah, but I need to get enough to level up. You've I'm got assuming. Enough really? Yeah, got oh. 2,500 souls. That's loads. Well, I mean, you say that now. That's loads. Can I hit the fire mouth and kill the fire mouth? Oh, oh, yeah, oh. No, no. Not from here. I got. Whilst I was pondering that, I was too close to the fire mouth and got hit. Oh, jeez. You still in one piece? Yeah, I was about to escape. Ah. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse, excuse me. What a strange tunnel. What a strange yeah. and very dark souls tunnel. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess I can see where all the fire came from now. There you go. Um, so, I don't know. This kind of feels a bit slapshot. Um, in Dark Souls 1, everything was really deliberate. Like, how there are those crystal golems in uh, Dark Root Basin because it was to do with uh, Seath the Scaleless uh, kidnapping a bunch of people from there uh, and leaving the crystal, go crystal golems behind. In this, there are some fire salamanders there. Cool. Yeah, they're just hanging out. How on earth do you get that item? That's weird. Uh, you jump? probably got to fall onto it. But that's... It's so high up. Oh, maybe... Uh, I better be looking at a different item then, in that case. Can I jump over that? I doubt it. I'm sure we'll figure that out later. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah, you come back here later on anyway. That's or a... do you? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, now I've no idea what to think. <laughs> Wait, so did I achieve nothing by oh, coming here? Okay. It <laughs> it dropped when you killed somebody on the bridge. It's not oh, supposed to be there. Oh, that makes sense, of course. Thank you, Dexter. The hollow boy. Hmm. I feel like this is probably the way to go, isn't it? Uh, I think you need to go back up to where the person with the big backpack was. Okay. Well, we got that nice sword I can't use. Yeah. 
we'll use that next time, I suppose. Oh, their items fall through the floor. Mm. That's weird. I remember the person with the big backpack. I remember seeing them in something. Um, like that exact same character design and something else. Maybe that's a bit unfair because it's kind of like... Wait, it's kind of like an obvious merchant thing, right? Yeah. Just holding all your stuff on your back. How how did... I thought I killed everyone here. Oh, uh, it was from Labyrinth. I remember oh. it from being from Labyrinth. There's a person with a big backpack in that film. My I'm name's David Bowie. I was, I was going to say, I'm not going to say the obvious thing, but you went ahead and did it. Like I said, low-hanging fruit. I... You're setting up too many obvious jokes. <laughs> also, I completely forgot that I went to the bonfire, so of course all these people would be awake again. Mm -hmm. uh, my boy Cube reminded me that there is some new Metal Slug that's got a big backpack as well. But oh, they yes, don't look like course. a weird crotchety hermit. No, they look cool. Yeah. Mind you, pretty much everyone in Metal Slug looks really cool. Metal Slug Even the guys a... with the real big beards? Uh, I mean... I like them, they're kind of charming. They just need like a barrel. Some... You mean, you mean the... Uh... The prisoners. The ones you rescue, yeah. Because some of them in the later games do come along with you and go all Goku at your enemies. Really? Have, have think... you never seen that? Uh, Metal Slug... I think it's two from Steam's. God, I can't remember for the life of me which Metal Slug it is because there's been so many of them. But, oh yeah, this hole. Try this hole. Um, there is absolutely definitely prisoners in later Metal Slugs you can rescue that start attacking. And they just start attacking by firing lasers and stuff out of their hands. That's really good. Oh, okay, I've got, I've got Metal Slug 3 on Steam's. That's a good Metal Slugs. It is good Metal Slugs. Hey, you Pointy. Should... Up a squat! Oh, I should probably have popped a squat, you're right. Oh, I, oh, I got surprised on. It happened again. Oh dear, oh dear. I thought I looked behind me when I came down and everything. Evidently they not were lying down. They are having a nap. See, you didn't pop a squat, and now this has happened. Well, it's just down the ladder. Yeah. I don't much like, I mean, it, if this is something that is running, I don't much like how many people are asleep in this game. It feels like it, an incredibly lazy way to trap you. It kind of is. It happens a lot in this one, but not so much later on. As far as I remember, they might have changed it for Scholar. <laughs> but I don't know why they would change that for Scholar, because it's, like you said, kind of lazy game design. It's Scholar of the First Sin, not Scholar of the First Sleepy, right? Yeah. Wake up, students. Class is now in session. Don't don't understand. Because um, it's a scholar about is, sin. Is this more of the fire salamander business, then? Is that um, a fire salamander? If you fall down the big pit, you will find a fire salamander. So I don't do want to fall down the big pit. Yeah, it's horrible down there. It you probably will want to later on, but don't do it. Oh look, the a fire, sleeping guy. The fire looks thought? a lot better. I remember this bit looking shit in the first one. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Fire is basic. <laughs> fire is basically evil lighting. Yeah. There's totally oh. going to be a surprise here, right? Uh, yeah. If you do see um, somebody having a kit on the floor, if you hit them, they will just stand up, so you can ruin their ambush. Oh yeah, like. Uh, that definitely happened in Bloodborne 2 and you could hit them, it's just, it happens so infrequently that it wasn't ever really an issue. Yeah. Whereas here it's, do I have to hit every corpse I see? Uh, no, only hit the ones that are holding swords. <laughs> That's a good rule for life as well. <laughs> if anyone's holding a sword, they're probably dangerous. You should go back to Medulla and get okay. yourself the fire sword. Okay. You do have a good point. I would like to use a big sword. Not just fire, but also swords. This bit that you just turned away from 20 seconds ago is really good. <laughs> Can't wait. How are we doing for time? We've got um, enough time to explore it, I think. Yeah, so we're turning off at, at midnight. Uh, I was actually thinking of... Uh... Oh, wait. 
how on, what on earth have I done to this menu? Oh, I see, Medulla and then the Farfire. Um, yeah. Because we started, I was imagining these would run for about two hours each, because uh, Dark Souls is a okay. really long game. So because we started late, probably another 15, 20 minutes? Which I'm should be enough that. time to get through with that. Yeah. Because we're, I haven't really mentioned this in the stream, because we, we came in so hot. Uh, Dark Souls 2 is a really long game, so I was planning to stream this pretty much on a schedule. The idea was we'd stream it every Sunday and Wednesday night. Check your uh, calendars, people. At about the time we started, maybe a little earlier, like 9pm GMT. I wrote it down on the image, but I don't have it to hand when it is in America time. Um, but yeah, I'll also be uploading these all to YouTube, um, hopefully the day after as well, in 720 whole peas, because my connection can't handle any better. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully, like... I don't know if Robin will be able to join uh, me for uh, every single one of them. I'm hoping to get more friends in as well. I've asked a few. Um, we'll have to see who can who can make it. But basically, it's just a good excuse to hang out, you know? Yeah. So hopefully well, you'd like to sucks. hang out with us. Um, there is a thing in this area which you have missed, but it's okay. Because I'm going to nag you until you go back and get it. There's a well with a rock on it. Play... Push the rock in the well. It's the hot new game. All the kids are talking about it. Do you mean in the area where... Well, in the jeweler. Jeweler, okay. So, there's a well. Let's find a there's well. There's a well. Is it the big well that the pigs live nearby? Yes, but you don't have to anger the pigs. Anger the pigs is the other hot new game that all the kids in Medulla are playing. That's why there are very many pigs in Medulla. Oh, it, it seems like there's quite a lot of them. Are you sure mm. there's any rocks near here? There's, oh. there's a well. Um, there you go. You made a friend. It. What did I do? You made a friend, didn't you? Oh, no, no, no not those rocks by the well. There's a, <laughs> a, a smaller well. That's a big pit. I know what a pit looks like, Robin. Yeah, so why are you standing by the pit and not by the well? Because I like pits. I'm yeah, going to give this guy his key. Pits are very much part of your personal brand. So. I've got your key, Chop Chop. Oh, I guess I Is have to open his door for him. Hey, Leningrast. <laughs> Is he green? Is he all, has he gone all shrek he's, he's quite green. Is he he's a got shrek? Layers. What a nice house you've got. I like the blood on the floor. <laughs> God, why would you? Oh, all right, I, actually, no. I know why you'd want to try and kill him, but also don't. You shouldn't do. Right. Let's find well, like, this well. Same reason why you'd want to kill the blacksmiths in the first game. Just, just don't do it. Is it because you're a monster? Yeah. But you said you enjoyed the naughty one of Undertale, Robin. So who is the uh, monster? That's because Undertale's now? shorter. Where's this well? It's by the house. The mansion, I mean. Oh, the well with the dangerous pigs. I said it was near the dangerous pigs. Do I really just hit it? Yeah. You didn't mention there was a person. I said you make a friend. Uh, I, Esther's flask shard? Yeah, yeah, so go and give that to the lady. Do I get more Restus flasks? Yes. Oh, brilliant! I bet there I never get like twenty, like in the old game, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not. You don't kindle uh, like that anymore. Oh. Maybe it's a plot thing. So you mean it's a plot thing? Maybe it's a plot thing. So you mean it's a plot thing? I can tell you for sure. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out exactly where your pretend knowledge uh, gap is and where your actual knowledge gap is. <laughs> I mean, it's Dark Souls, so like, if it was all fully answered and none of it was ambiguous, then it wouldn't be Dark Souls. Oh, that's true. It would probably be, I don't know, what's a game people don't like? Assassin's Creed. Fuck it. <laughs> what sort of gaming journalism is this? <laughs> it's a bad one. Oh, I do not have Esther's flask yard, but the option was on the menu. 
the option was on the menu in the first one as well. Video games. Video games. Whoa, that person's got a s stick. How big is it? I don't know, they vanished. It was, a big, it was a big stick ghost. You can get some really interesting looking sticks in this game. Some really cool designs. I already got a big stick with a larger sort of chunk on the oh, end. Oh, they've got a good stick. Oh, okay. If you're watching this on YouTube, rewind it about another ten, <laughs> 10 seconds so you can see the person stick again. It's a good, uh, let me tell you. Bonfire Intensity 1. I guess that's related to the uh, Bonfire Aesthetics? Yeah, that's New Game Plus stuff. So, um, every time you uh, beat the New... Every time you New Game Plus, it makes the Bonfire Intensity go up by one. But if you throw ah. a Skeptic into it, then it makes it more difficult. I see. Um, so that's how you can see like how hard you made it for yourself. Very. Okay, so I, uh, this is just gonna gonna devolve into me talking about how much I wanted to really like the Twin Blade and how much I was disappointed with by I how much, how I didn't enjoy the Twin Blade animations. In that case, we should probably save it for another time then. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hold my tongue, but <laughs> I'm just telling you now. I was really distracted by that person's stick. It's a good. It seems like a nice stick, but. Yeah. Thinking about what time it is and how long we just spent faffing around, might call it a night here. That's a good idea. I think I'm very tired. You Why don't you we? You were very uh, tired when we started, darling. It's true. Why don't we use a human effigy so you can see Danny's lovely face and take oh, your hood off? That's it. Take my head off. Take your hood off. Oh my hood. I was gonna say, what's the point of using the effigy then? Yeah. How and do that's... you use human effigy? Uh, I think you just use them like you'd use uh, a thingy. Um, oh my god. Uh, oh. You, uh, you, 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 like that. There what? you go. Are you scared because I was going to break the UI? Oh, I'm just really tired. Oh. <laughs> well, let's remove that hood. Thanks, everyone. How do we get the camera on me for the end of this? I'm gonna really going to have to learn how to do this better. Mm. Camera manipulation okay. is like the most important part of games. Yeah. And character customization. Which are the good of emotes? I've got them all. Okay. Thank, thank you very much for coming, everyone. It's been a thank you for being pleasure. here, Shuddy. Thank you for coming as well, Robin. Thanks for having me, Danny. No problem. Other than all the exploding bits at the start, but no problems. No te no problems, just technical ones. <laughs> as always. But as always. thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely rest of the evening. I think ours is going to be very short by the sound of it. I'm just going to go black out. I'm going to lie in bed, say please no steppy, and then going to pass oh, out. You, oh, you had to ruin it at the end. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but thank you, everyone. I'm going to put up the little thing that says good night, and we'll see you again another time. Good night, and don't tread on me. <laughs> <laughs>